real good. Very impressed. Pretty good shot there. Welcome back to JR Pro Shop Vids everyone. Today we've got a brand new ball, the Columbia Power Torque. And alongside that, we got the Damn Good Verge from DV8. Now on paper, these balls are pretty similar. The Damn Good Verge here has a little bit of a smaller core, a little bit lower differential, so a little bit less hook potential overall, but it has a much stronger cover stock. So will that even things out? We're gonna test that out in the lanes today with Barks. Another reason why Barks wanted to throw the damn good Verge against a new power torque here, as we did a review on this quite a while ago, and Barks really likes it, uses it a lot. Uh, this is actually a second one. So it's pretty fresh, box finish on both balls here. We're excited to see how different they are on the lanes. Both symmetric solids. They both have sparkles in the cover stock that I can see right here, really nice looking. And they're both at the exact same price point when you go into your pro shop. So what's the difference? Why do you need both? Do you need both? Barks is here to test it out. So you might have seen a couple things on social media about this ball being like re-released or brought back from the old days. It's not true. They're just using the old name. Brand new bowling ball, new core, new cover stock, modern technology, just the old name. So oil pattern today will be Stonehenge, 40 feet, six to one. Uh, this is what we bowl in in league. It's not too difficult, but not too easy either. It's perfectly right in the middle. And it's a pattern in which these symmetric solid bowling balls with a little bit of surface should look really good on. And last but not least, these balls are laid out exactly the same, 50 by four by 35. With that said, that's enough with Jungo in here. Let's go see Barks toss his teal ball down the lane. Hey guys, Barks is back once again. Today we got something a little different. The Columbia 300 Power Torque. So for the long time viewers, the last Columbia ball we reviewed was the Chaos Black. So go back and watch that one. Things have changed in the last uh, year and a half or so. Like they said in the shop, we're on 40 foot Stonehenge, standing 24. Break point's gonna be about six. Good shot there. But that ball really kicks down lane. Yeah, normally you think symmetric solid, you think earlier, smoother, more continuous. This one's a little bit quicker than some of the balls I've seen. That was a good shot. I'm gonna move a couple in. Stand 26. Same break point. This thing's surprising me so far. Very impressed. So we've seen what the power torque can do from a little bit further right, but it may not be ideal for the fresh. So let's try something different, a bit, a bit further to the left, and that's the DV8 Damn Good Verge. Now both of these are symmetric solids. Both are in like an upper mid price point, and both have a little sparkle to them, which I really, really like. Kind of my thing lately. But I have to be a little bit further left on this one. Straighter angles. That ball reads just a little bit earlier and it's a little bit smoother off the break point. So I think if I'm bowling on the fresh, the damn good verge looks pretty damn good. I'm gonna move a couple boards to the right. We're gonna play where we started with the power torque. Similar amount of hook, just very different shapes off the break point. Damn good verge is a lot earlier, which I love to see on the fresh. I like to see a ball that reads a little closer to me. It feels like you can kind of stay on top of that spot and go to the power torque and get that little extra kick later on. Now we're getting a lot of high flush hits right now with the damn good verge. I'm gonna move a couple more in. All right, nine pin. So two more would be 28. The 28, I still gotta get it out to like six, seven. It's hooking a lot from that spot. Still good. Is there a spot where this ball's gonna quit? It's too good, man. <laughs> That ball is way too good. But well, we've seen what the damn good Verge can do. This isn't a part two of that review. If you missed part one, take a look right over here. Me and Goots tag team in that one. We haven't seen Goots for a while. Gotta bring him back soon. This is a Columbia review, so we gotta focus on this ball a little bit too. So same spot that I just struck with the damn good Verge, standing 33. And hopefully it's a little bit sharper down lane. I think that's the intention. Let's see what happens. Ah! 
Uh, I missed a little bit inside a target on that one. Let's fling it left. Let's make sure we get it out to that spot. Six, seven down lane. And a bit of a flat seven there. That's a combination of the ball going a little long and me being too much up the back of it. I'm gonna get my hand around this one so it really finishes hard. I think that'll do the trick. Yeah, the hand around it a little bit, it creates way more angle. And those are the hits you need, those little mixes there to keep the strings alive. All right, question time with Barks. Now, myself, I haven't drilled a lot of Columbia balls, but after drilling this new power torque, I think I might drill a couple more in the future. So my question today, is there a particular ball that got you hooked onto a brand? Let me know in the comment section below. All right, let's have a little fun with this last shot. Let's move another five right. So standing 38, and I gotta get my hand around this and slow. Oh, I might make the corner. Oh, beauty. Let's send it back to the shop. All right, everyone, I'm back from the lanes. Let's talk a little bit about the Columbia 300 Power Torque. Now, this is the first Columbia 300 ball I've drilled in a couple of years. The last one was a spoiler, and that was very condition-specific. Saw this one on social media, got really excited about it, had to have it in my bag. I compared it today against the Damn Good Verge from DV8. It's a ball I like to use on the fresh because it really lets me control my angles and digs into the mid lane a lot. So playing a little bit further left, the Damn Good Verge picked up really early and gave me a controllable back end motion. And as I got further into the pattern, it still looked pretty good, but it got to a point where it wanted to kind of flat seven. And that's just the result of having a really strong cover stock that uses its energy early. So playing a little bit further to the right and ball changing to the power torque was definitely the right move. It gave me a little bit more natural length through the front part of the lane, and it really kicked down lane a lot harder than we saw with the damn good verge. So when I got further to the right and really got my hand around it, I could really trust the power torque to recover and kick down lane a little bit harder than we saw with the damn good verge. The power torque here is not gonna be my go-to on the fresh. It's more of a ball that's meant for transition when I've broken down the front part of the lane a little bit and I need to move into the pattern a little bit more. Comparing the power torque here to the Hammer Infamous that was in our last video. Now with the Infamous, that core really wants to get the ball down the lane a little bit further than I want to see with my eye. Now for me, the power torque kind of fits that spot a little bit better for me. It picks up just a hair earlier and doesn't give me too much length and too much flip. Now who do I recommend a ball like the power torque for? Well, honestly, I think it's meant for a lot of different styles. I think it could be a really good ball to start with on the fresh if you're bowling on a higher friction lane surface. And if you're bowling in a center that has a lot of oil or not very much friction built into it, I think it's a good ball for transition. So final thoughts, uh, like I said earlier, I haven't drilled a Columbia 300 ball in a very long time. And quite honestly, I'm very impressed by this power torque here. It's definitely opened my eyes to the brand and I think I'll probably drill a couple more pieces in the future from Columbia 300. All right, so next up we have the boys coming back, Simu and Jimu, and they'll be testing out six different entry-level balls across a variety of different brands so stay tuned for that so don't forget to answer my question in the comment section below was there a ball that got you hooked on a particular brand please let me know in the comments until next time